Hello and welcome to Minerik U, training in 60 seconds. We've seen that sizing is about speeds, torques, accelerations, and inertia ratios. We've also seen that inertia ratios are most safe between 1 to 1 and 10 to 1. As technology improves, there are debates about acceptable inertia ratios. Some manufacturers claim ratios as high as 100 or 200 to 1 will work. And this can be true, but it will affect how aggressive a move profile can be. If load inertias are high, they can be reduced quickly by using gearing or similar reduction between the load and the motor. And the effect is drastic. Reflected inertia decreases as the square of the reduction ratio. For example, say an inertia ratio is 27 to 1, which is outside normal limits. If a 3 to 1 gear reducer is added, it reduces reflected inertia by 3 squared, or a factor of 9. The new inertia ratio will go from 27 to 1 to 3 to 1. However, motor speed will need to be three times higher to make the same move in the same amount of time. I hope that helps you understand sizing, a crucial step in using motion control products. That does it for this training minute. Thanks for watching.